Hi everyone, so today I'm finally sharing my 2020 Project Life album flip through. Um, I just wanted to quickly um, start the video with a disclaimer that as you can see, the album's not completely finished. Um, there's a few things through the album that I'll point out to you that still need to be completed, such as this cover page. Um, but for the most part, it is done. So I wanted to get this flip through um, done and dusted. People always ask me as well, this is a 12 by 12 D-Ring album and this particular one was released in conjunction with Maggie Holmes and Crate Paper, I think, but I don't think you can get it anymore. Um, I'm always asked where I get my albums from and honestly, these days they're like gold dust. Um, I tend to use websites like Hey Little Magpie, but it's like the faux leather albums are pretty much the only ones you can get these days. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. We can jump in. Like I said, this is the front cover, but it's not complete yet. Um, so we can go straight into January. I put this together using some old cards from Simple Stories that were in my stash. And this is just entirely um, New Year's Eve. I always start my albums with a page about New Year's Eve because my friends and I normally have a New Year's Eve party. Obviously, this was 2020, so we were still able to do that. Um, but I've just kept it super simple. I've got these um, cards from Simple Stories and then a few little embellishments like this um, red enamel heart, wood veneer stars in a few places. And that's pretty much it. I also love using full size 12 by 12 photos. So this is one of me and my now husband at the time. Um, he was my fiance and we were excited because obviously as we went into 2020, we were like, oh, we can say we get married this year. Um, but little did we know what 2020 was going to hold for us. That's another one from New Year's of me and some of my friends. Um, this is the last page of January. I have found that a lot of the months in this album are really short and then some are super long. And January was a short one because um, unfortunately not long after New Year's I started to get really quite poorly and we weren't sure what was going on. So I didn't really take any photos in January which then obviously translates to my album. I just used bits and pieces from my stash. I was trying really hard with this album to use up lots of odds and ends. So um, these cards are actually all just pieces of patterned paper that I have uh, trimmed down to size and made into sort of makeshift Project Life cards um, and to back my photos. I've used some wood veneer bits here for embellishment, um, but mainly just random die cuts out of my stash. And um, yeah, not really any journaling. I just um, talked about how I wasn't very well and how we'd begun to hear of this new virus um, in certain parts of the world. Like I said, January was super short, so we go straight into February, but not only that, we go straight into mid to end February um, because I was really quite poorly by this point. But we had a holiday book to Florida that had already been rearranged once. And with my health not being great and with the talk of this new virus I was worried about um, cancelling it or postponing it again and I was desperate to get to, to Walt Disney World and I'm so glad we went because obviously now for the past 18 months the world has been a complete mess nobody's been able to travel anywhere really um, so I have no idea if or when we'll ever be able to go back so I'm so so glad we went um, so for these pages, I think for the whole trip, I used um, Simple Stories, I think it was called Enchanted, and I actually bought that collection about five years ago, maybe even longer than that, um, in the hopes that one day I would go to the Disney parks, and I did, so I've been able to use it to document various Disney trips now, um, but yeah, I think this is entirely made using that collection. Um, so the first day of our trip, we only went for six days. We went all the way to Florida for six days, but it was so worth it despite the fact that I was really poorly. And the first day of our trip was Animal Kingdom. So I've got pictures here from our day in Animal Kingdom, which I absolutely loved. And then the following day, we went to Magic Kingdom. Got to have a picture there of the castle. There's another one there taken by a photo pass photographer. And then again, this is more of that enchanted collection. These are some pictures from our day 
in Magic Kingdom and I've just used embellishment embellishments sorry from that collection also sorry about these gross bites on my arms it's so annoying I have a, com a compromised immune system so if I get a bite or a bruise or a scratch it takes forever to heal so I've had these bites for like a week and a half and they just won't go away as you can see these down here are from Epcot on the Wednesday we went to Epcot And then these last ones here are from Hollywood Studios and then again Magic Kingdom. We went back to Magic Kingdom on the last day for a um, Crystal Palace breakfast um, before we ended up having to go home. So um, yeah, a short and sweet trip, but it was so lovely. I got so much cool stuff and I'm so glad I went. Um, and again, that was the Simple Stories Enchanted Collection. I don't know if you can still get that anywhere. I've still got a decent amount of it, actually, because I bought, like, the whole lot when it was released. Um, so I'm currently using it in another um, album, which is just documenting Disney trips. I've got a Magic Kingdom map here, which I want to do something with eventually. So that's why it's in this larger page protector. And then we go into March, which was obviously a complete disaster for everyone. But it was a real disaster for me because I was so ill. So um, it was on the 6th of March after multiple uh, trips to the doctor. I basically said to my mum, like, something is really, really wrong with me. And I need to go and demand that they do more blood tests today because I just don't feel right. And by about 9pm that day, I was rushed into hospital um, and diagnosed with something called pancytopenia which is where like every type of blood cell you have basically is completely um, depleted my bone marrow wasn't producing any new cells basically and they had to figure out why um so yeah I ended up in hospital um and I've I've um got these bright green post-it notes in various places throughout the album just covering up private information um so don't worry I don't just have random um post-it notes <laughs> stuck in the album ruining the pages um but yeah so this was this whole insert really apart from these first two photos is about um my stay in hospital and it was such a complicated situation I ended up being in for nearly two weeks it was such a complicated situation that I wanted to do proper journaling about it all so I've got this full double page A4 thing of journaling um just going into the whole situation because I felt like I wanted to document it um but yeah so again this is just random bits and bobs from my stash this is actually a simple stories collection as well I seem to have used a lot of simple stories so far in this album and then I've got some puffy stickers down here which are really old by Heidi Swap um but yeah so that's my journaling for that and then about two weeks well nearly two weeks later I was finally out of hospital and um I was having to wear a mask because COVID um, had hit my local area and the doctors were scared. So I took COVID very seriously, like from that point, um, because I had been in hospital and I knew that the health professionals were scared. So I've put freedom or not because I came straight out of hospital and was told to go into shielding. Um, and then obviously the following week, um, we went into national lockdown. This card is also Simple Stories. It was like a bad day collection. I've got some memes here to do with COVID to remind me of like what people were saying at the time. Um, like this one here. It says, every time I feel a little tingle in my throat, is that you, Rona? And it's funny because obviously I saved that meme in March 2020 and it's now August 2021 and I still feel the exact same. <laughs> And then the following week, like I said, we went into national lockdown. Um, this was another one of those funny memes that was going around. Will bought me um, a Nintendo Switch and Animal Crossing, which was like the best thing ever. And I played it nearly every day then for like nearly a whole year. Absolutely loved it. And it um, was such a lovely way to connect to friends that I couldn't see. And you'll see a bit more of that later on, I think. I screenshotted the text that the government sent out to everyone saying we had to stay at home and obviously I've journaled about it there. We were meant to be getting married in August 2020. We ended up getting married um, very differently to how we had planned it, I suppose. Um, 
but at the time we went ahead with planning assuming that this would all blow over in a couple of months of course it didn't <laughs> um and again just using random bits and bobs from my stash I included a lot of screenshots of things that people were saying online like things artists were putting out poems things like that um because I just I didn't want to um I didn't want my whole album to be about COVID, but obviously like everyone's whole life was about COVID at that time really. And um, I, I didn't want to forget what people were saying or what it was like. This was the leaflet that came through everybody's door in the UK about COVID. Um, so I've included that. And then this was when my sister-in-law asked me to be a bridesmaid for her. Um, she couldn't visit at the time, obviously we were in lockdown, you weren't really even supposed to go to people's doorsteps and stuff, so she emailed it to me or she texted it to me and then I printed it and um, put it in here. I documented FaceTime calls with my friends because again that was just such a huge part of life um, at the time, FaceTime calls with family down here. Yeah, just lots of little bits of lockdown life, thankfully we were blessed with lovely weather here um throughout most of that first lockdown this collection was by um pink fresh studio and i think it was called let's stay home and they released it specifically for the pandemic and obviously it couldn't have been more perfect so i ordered that and used that on a couple of spreads um it, this has got a letter in the middle but it goes on to both of those pages um we spent a lot of time in the garden um, we couldn't, I think some places were open, like B&Q and stuff was open. By this point, we're in uh, early April. Um, so I think my husband was able to go out and buy a few bits so that we could really work on the garden because that was all we could do. Um, I was still very much recovering, um, but, you know, we spent a lot of time outside. So we tried to get the garden ready, uh, spent a lot of time with the animals, which was lovely. Um I watched all of the Star Wars films for the first ever time. This was another letter that came from the government and this was one that came from my hospital telling me that I needed to shield, which I was already doing. I just took a quick break to grab a drink and nip to the loo and um, I realised I'm talking way too much about each page so I'm gonna shut up and just <laughs> try and get through it a bit quicker. Um, so this is another um, few photos from April. I painted the shed in the garden because I was starting to feel a lot better, a lot more myself. We carried on planning the wedding in the hope that it would still go ahead. But honestly, like we were starting to think that it probably wouldn't. Um, I've got some hidden journaling in an envelope here. And again, this was the Pink Fresh Studios Let's Stay Home collection. I also put together this double page spread with that same collection, but it's like slightly different colour palette. So that was more of the muted tones and then this is more of the brighter tones um again i was including bits that other people were sharing like this post from um nhs workers um which i thought was really inspiring at the time everyone had so much appreciation of um key workers and that was really special um it was easter the dogs were dressed up um, for Easter. I painted furniture in our bedroom. I got so much done. Um, I finished uh, craft projects that had been outstanding for ages. We were finally able to have a little doorstop visit from my brother and his fiance, who is now his wife. Um, and they gave us the save the dates and everything for their uh, wedding. I documented some baking and because this collection was specifically designed for lockdown um, or quarantine it was just perfect it had um, stuff to do with uh, healthcare workers it had baking it had crafting it had reading it had music it had zoom calls um, it was great this is another spread from April as well so you can see that from sort of um, April onwards I started including more photos I had more to document um because I was feeling better um even though we weren't doing anything um like my husband and I both actually really enjoyed that first lockdown I hadn't had an like a chance to just sit and do nothing and like properly heal um in ages so I really valued the rest and he really valued working from home he's actually still working from home now it's not as great now but um in the beginning we really enjoyed it um, so I was, you know, having a little tea party for myself, spending a lot of time reading in the garden. Um, and I made sure to journal a lot as well on these pages because I just don't want to forget this time. 
this spread was just put together with random bits and bobs from my stash and it's a very like simple um clean spread i really like how it looks this was another letter from the hospital reminding me to carry on shielding um so i included that in there um this was just a pretty graphic i saw on instagram that i included um and i finally left the house so from coming home from the hospital until this day on may the 3rd I had not left the house. I think it was like 46 days or something like that. Um, and I went with Will in the car whilst he went to the shop. So I stayed in the car, he went to the shop. Um, and it was my first trip out of the house in over 40 days. And then in the next couple of days, I felt a little bit better. Um, and I was able to go on a walk, which was amazing. So I took the dogs for a walk and like we watched the sunset and stuff. And that was just such a novelty. And I feel like in the beginning, when we first started experiencing things again, like being able to go out again, um, I had this whole new appreciation for everything, basically, um, which was, it was nice, you know? But yes, yeah, so this was the beginning of May. That first lockdown for us didn't actually end until like June or July, I think. Here's another one. This is quite a busy spread, not one of my favourites. Um, but again, I used lots of embellishments from that Let's Stay Home collection. Um, people had street parties for VE Day because it was the 75th anniversary. We didn't, but we had our own little afternoon tea in the house. Um, Will carried on working on the garden, which was really coming together. Um, I've got a funny meme there about uh, planning a wedding um, in a pandemic. Not very fun. I documented all of the books that I had read. Uh, so far in lockdown this was where our garden really started to take shape my parents dropped a hammock off on our doorstep um, and you can see well you probably can't see from here but we had um, really done a lot of work around like the flower beds in the back of the garden it all looks awful again now it's so funny it makes me want to go out and sort it all out again um, and then there were a few photos that people had sent me so like Will sent me a photo from inside being cute like showing me what it was like inside with the social distancing measures and stuff and my mum sent me a picture of my brother cutting my dad's hair. More family Zoom calls there. This is another one just all made up of my stash and we're going into June. So I documented the Black Lives Matter movement, but I didn't really um, journal about it or anything in hindsight. I wish that I had, um, but I did document what was going on at that time. Um, lots of pictures of the dogs, because again, when you're stuck in the house, that's pretty much all you can document. I had to go for blood tests um, following up from everything that had happened. So this was like my first trip out on my own and I hadn't been in a shop. So I had to quickly drop something off at the post office. So I took pictures of the social distancing things they had in place because I, I hadn't seen any of it up until that point. These are old um, pink paisley collections, I think. I think they look really lovely together. Our wedding invites arrived, my wedding shoes arrived, <laughs> not that we got to use any of it, but you know, my wedding ring arrived. By this point, towards the end of June, we knew the wedding wasn't going to happen, so we, um, or at least we knew it wasn't going to happen in the capacity that we'd originally wanted it to, but we decided to keep planning as if we were going to have our ceremony on the original date, and that is what we ended up doing. Unfortunately though, after recovering so well from the bone marrow suppression um, that I had had uh, in March. I then went really downhill with my Crohn's and ended up in hospital again and on these like dietary supplement things on a liquid diet because basically the my Crohn's medication had caused the bone marrow suppression so um, I had to stop the medication and then because of Covid there was a delay in getting me onto a new medication so I ended up really poorly again. I didn't really document a lot of that because to be totally honest it was an incredibly difficult time. I felt horrendous and I was so upset because I knew that we had wanted the wedding ceremony to go ahead in just a couple of weeks by this point. I wanted to be well for that. I wasn't getting anywhere with like trying to get on a new medication and it was just awful and it was one of the worst Crohn's flare-ups that I've ever had probably because I was still recovering from being so ill before so um yeah it wasn't good I dropped a lot of weight I dropped far 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 too much weight because I was so ill and yeah so I didn't really document any of that <laughs> um but this is when it started to improve again a little bit 
beginning of July. I've got some pictures here that my sister-in-law sent to me. We were, still weren't seeing anyone at the time um, of all of this going on. I've screenshotted some stuff from the government website and an email I sent. So on this day, we found out that our wedding ceremony could definitely go ahead with 10 people. So we knew we were going to be able to get married and we gave notice again. And um, on July 10th, I finally started a new medication. That came with drama as well, but you know, it was better than nothing. Um, and I had a little virtual hen do, so I documented that there. I had to collect my wedding dress, even though I wasn't going to wear my actual wedding dress for our wedding ceremony. I was going to save it um, for the big day, which we had rescheduled at the time. We'd rescheduled it for April 2021, but obviously that ended up not being able to happen either. Um, but I collected my wedding dress, but I've kept it hidden because it's still a surprise. Um, we are now going to have like a big vow renewal in August 2022. We'll see how it goes. My mum was able to come with me for that, which was so fun. We were allowed to see like one other person or something by that point. And I documented my first um, food shop. I hadn't done any food shopping since like January. So <laughs> I documented doing that first food shop. This was the week before our wedding. We were allowed to see groups of people outside. So um, we were able to see some of Will's family for the first time since the previous Christmas, which was really nice. Um, I just wore sandals for our wedding and my mum got me these little Disney themed um, decals to go on the bottom. So I took a picture of those with the little wedding prep that I was doing. Um, my best friend gave me some bridal Disney ears. And then this was the night before the wedding I was packing for our little mini moon and it was very exciting this is another spread where it's literally just random bits from my stash i couldn't even tell you <laughs> where any of it's from i just went through and tried to find things that would go together and then this is the wedding again documented just with random bits of my stash that went together nicely um i've got some large photos in here it was such a wonderful day honestly like if we hadn't already paid out so much money for the big wedding day I would have quite happily just left it at this it was so nice there's another one there I need to print another photo for this spot here my wedding photographer was amazing she um photographed our legal ceremony for us at a disc like a heavily heavily discounted rate and then um she had the photos with me by like 1am the next morning it was crazy we had to have some pictures in masks, obviously, to document the time in which we were getting married. And my mum made those masks for us. And then after the wedding, we had a little marquee in my parents' garden with a handful of family and friends who like popped in. They alternated coming to see us um, to wish us well on our wedding day. And we were able to have the dogs there and it was just super nice. So that's the wedding. And then this was our mini moon. I put this together um, using a lollipop box club kit. We just went to my parents' caravan in Hailing Island because obviously travel, you couldn't travel at the time. I don't think you were even meant to travel like within the UK really at the time. Um, so we just went to the caravan for a couple of days, which was lovely. And like I said, that was with a lollipop box club kit. And then this was the end of August. So things were like gradually starting to open up again. So like my mum and I went on a trip to the Emma Bridgewater factory for afternoon tea and for some shopping, which was so nice. Um, finished one of my travel scrapbooks. It's always such a buzz finishing a scrapbook. Um, photographing some EB that I bought at the factory. These were some wedding gifts that we got. Um, and I just journaled about when we got home from the mini moon. Um, this was our little thank you cards that we sent out to people. I put one in my album. Um, yeah, again, just random bits from my stash that seemed to go together. This is another spread that was made with a lollipop box club kit. By this point, I was starting to feel a lot better. And um, my new medication, for most people, it takes like maybe like up to three months to start feeling better but thankfully I reacted to it really quickly and started feeling better really quickly and um, we were able to go camping so as soon as we were able to travel a little bit further afield we went camping in Dorset it was our first time but I spent a lot of time in Dorset 
growing up so I sort of knew some of the general area um but it was meant to be for my birthday so we were meant to go for I think it was like three nights we ended up only staying one <laughs> one night um because the campsite was beautiful but it was on top of the hill overlooking this hill overlooking the sea and the views were incredible like literally incredible but the wind <laughs> it was insane the dogs couldn't settle like we couldn't sleep a wink so we ended up coming home early but we still like crammed lots of stuff in as you can see like beach trips we went to the blue pool which is really beautiful if you haven't been there before um but yeah again this was with a lollipop box club kit i only put this together recently this is september just photographing a few bits there new and bridgewater um back to work which was very strange because I hadn't been at work since February I'd had to shield the whole time and I'd been so unwell that I hadn't even been able to work from home or anything so I went back to work which was super weird but really nice I picked up my veil um I bought some uh Disney ears for our honeymoon which obviously we we never got to go on maybe next year um December daily supplies arrived which is exciting because that means the new supplies for this year will be released soon and documented some house progress down here we um were looking into getting our kitchen done so we went and um ordered our new kitchen and i really cracked on with the bedroom and um we finished lots of house projects in the run-up to getting our kitchen done work on that ended up not starting till december because we had to wait for a gas engineer to come out and sort out our gas pipes um but yeah it was in september that we started getting the ball rolling with it then we go into October, which is one of my favourite months of the year. We visited a pumpkin patch and I went crazy with the pumpkin photos because I just love them. Um, I forgot to mention as well that this picture down here is um, of my little dog Winnie. And around this time I noticed a lump had popped up on her face. So we took her to the vet and um, these photos in then early October were like waiting for the... Um, biopsy results and everything to come back and um, she ended up having scans and biopsies and things um, and unfortunately she was diagnosed with cancer which we found out here um, so it was a very difficult time um, and October is a month that is documented quite heavily in here because I was taking so many pictures of Winnie because we were told at the time the prognosis was really poor um, but thankfully she's still with us now so fingers crossed it'll stay that way for a long time so yeah again these are just random bits from my stash i think some of these are crate like old crate paper collections um but i basically have a box just full of autumnal and halloween themed scrapping supplies and whenever it gets to that time of the year i just dip into that box <laughs> i don't know where any of it comes from because most of it is so old um but yeah i've got a little six by eight page protector here with more pumpkin photos and then this was like the story of Winnie's diagnosis, which was just horrible. We were basically told she only had a maximum of like three months. So I wrote her a bucket list um, and I started looking into like natural remedies to relieve any pain and everything. We decided not to treat the cancer because they told us it was so aggressive and it would come back and they'd have to take like her bottom jaw away. And oh my gosh, it, it was just awful. So um yeah, I wrote Winnie a bucket list and that's where this um, sort of starts. So we did like walks with friends and a trip to the caravan with my mum and she had fish and chips <laughs> and um, we went on lots of drives. I carried her around in a sling because at the time she really didn't want to walk. Um, we went on walks in her like favourite places where we used to take her all the time when she was younger um, she had a puppuccino. <laughs> um, it was, it was lovely. Um, and it was her birthday, so she turned eleven. So she got like this special birthday cake and all these presents. Look at all of that. <laughs> yeah, she was absolutely spoiled rotten. Um, and she loved it. Um, but yeah, so we were working through Winnie's bucket list, and then at the end of October we went back into lockdown again, <laughs> lockdown 2.0, beginning of November, um, we went into lockdown again. So the whole of November was spent in lockdown, but the school um, 
was open. So for a few days, um, I was going in preparing to work from home. They told me I needed to work from home while we were in lockdown. That ended up turning into five months of working from home. So that was interesting. <laughs> this page is put together with so much random stuff. This is an old like Felicity Jane paper. This is a um, Gossamer Blue card which Gossamer Blue haven't existed for years but I used to get their kits and I absolutely loved them and I've still got this sort of stuff in my stash um, but we threw a little tea party for one of my colleagues at work so in our year six bubble we had a little tea party for her. Um, I documented some of the stuff around the US election and documented beginning working from home um, and like I say that turned into months of working from home. This is November. I actually put my Christmas decorations up in November so you can see this is my tree in our bedroom. Um, I always have to get autumnal dog walk photos into my albums. I just love them. I documented um, news about the first possible Covid vaccine um, and how that made me feel that there was possibly a vaccine. And then um, I also documented here that we found out we were pregnant for the first time towards the end of November which was obviously um, amazing at the time, but unfortunately it did end in a miscarriage. Um, but I, I, couldn't, I couldn't leave that out, so I have documented it in here, but I don't want to dwell on it too much. Um, and then this is December when unfortunately I did end up having um, a miscarriage before Christmas. And I haven't journaled about it in here yet, because I just didn't feel able to, but I did journal about it in my December daily album. So my plan is to copy that journaling and just stick it on the back of this picture of our Christmas tree here. Um, we did have a lot of other stuff going on at this time though. So the work on our kitchen started. So there's a few photos dotted in of that. Um, like I say, that's our Christmas tree. My mum and I went to the um, Harry Potter studio tour in, Watford which was like amazing going there for Christmas and it was a lovely distraction a really lovely day out um to distract me from everything that was going on got more documenting here of the work in the kitchen um this is a meme that I've covered up because it has like location um information on it we did doorstep present deliveries with some of the family because we weren't meant to be seeing anyone you were the whole basically the whole of our local area went into lockdown like the day before Christmas apart from us so they went into lockdown again just before Christmas um but my local area didn't like everywhere around us went into lockdown but we didn't <laughs> so we were still able to see um my immediate family on Christmas which was nice but we weren't meant to see anyone else so um we did some doorstep present deliveries for people was still playing Animal Crossing. This is Christmas Eve, a little Christmas Eve Animal Crossing party with some of my friends. Um, we went to pick paint for the um, new kitchen extension, literally like <laughs> the day before Christmas Eve, um, with plans of getting it painted over the Christmas holiday whilst the builders were enjoying their Christmas holiday. And then this was Christmas. So um, like I said, I was able to see my immediate family um, on Christmas Day because we weren't back in lockdown like the rest of our local area was. Um, so we spent Christmas with my family, which was nice. We had a little buffet on Christmas Eve, just Will and I and the dogs. Um, Winnie having a cup of tea on Christmas morning because that was on her bucket list as well. Um, and then I packed the decorations away really early this year. It was on the 27th. <laughs> My festive spirit ran out quite quick with everything that had been going on. Um, and then these are like crimbo limbo. So like wintry walks, nice bubble bath, stuff like that. I was just documenting what I was up to in that week between Christmas and New Year. And then every year we take a family photo on Christmas Day. And that was this year's one or last year's one. Uh, this year's one will be different because hopefully Miss Winnie will still be here. Um, but we'll also have Margot and a new baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, lots and lots going on. And then um, just some pattern paper on the back. So I know I was like majorly rambling <laughs> then. I'm so out of breath. So out of breath. I'm six months pregnant now. So the baby is definitely like pushing more on my ribs 
but um ooh, just flip through um i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions let me know and i will see you in my next video bye guys